My dear Isabel, you should marry William, especially if you have affection for him, unless he is poor or a fool, but he does not sound as though he is one. He sounds like quite a catch, and he is quite close with the Duke and Duchess Rowland, is he not? Edward is becoming quite flirtatious with all the girls, especially with Mrs. Compson, although she is not really a girl, but a widow. <laughs> the flowers are blooming. Mother has been in quite good spirits. Edward gives the Duke his best. It is dull here without you, love, Anne. My dear Anne, I am not sure if I love him. I like him well enough, but I do not know if I wish to take that step which men and women must take but once in their lives. He is kind, he's intelligent, he makes enough for Mama's wildest dreams, and yet I am not sure of my feelings towards him. They are not love. I have reasons for my actions. Your words will not persuade me to marriage, as I have many other suitors. And William will stay our little secret. Agreed? Your loving sister, Isabel. P.S. Tell me more of home in the country. London gets awfully lonely. But then again, the Duke has taken time to make me feel at home. Tell Mama I am quite well. And tell Edward the Duke has been quite kind. <laughs> My dear sister, oh. how lucky I am to run into you now. <laughs> I am now, more than ever, in need of your aid. And what kind of aid do you require, pray tell? <laughs> do you know the lady Isabel? Indeed, I have heard sonnets composed for that lady. Oh, then I am in dire straits indeed. Mm. Other men can compose sonnets for her, and I cannot even decide which flowers might please the ever enchanting lady. Good heavens! Have you gone mad? Surely you cannot think of becoming one of that woman's countless admirers. Becoming? Oh, my dear Catherine, I am one! Uh, now will you help me decide which flowers to buy? Soon. Uh, perhaps you should buy the coquette daylilies. Ah! <laughs> A woman of your breeding should not say such things. Catherine, if you will not help me, at least do not hinder me. Now, what does a young man say to a young lady in such situations? I am helpless. A mixture of red and white roses, then. It's a bit forward, but you can always say that the florist made a terrible mistake. Oh, I am saved. What ever would I do without you? Oh, I really have no idea. <laughs> He sent me white and red roses. It was quite forward of him. But darling, since you have pressed me and pressed me and finally threatened to tell of William to Mama, I shall tell you why I am hesitant to encourage William to the point of marriage. It is on account of this man. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke, Roland, oh, and such a man, a well-connected little devil. And I will tell you, his wife died yesterday. I have loved him for quite some time, and I will tell you, he loves me. I am sure of it. I think he may propose. We have been intimate for a long while. I brought you flowers, Lady Isabel. Have you gone mad to give me these in public? <laughs> Isabel. <laughs> Isabel, I think I love you. Not say that if you do not mean it. I mean it. <laughs> I love you. I knew it from the moment I saw you. You should not say such things. Someone might hear you. Your wife has been dead and buried not six days. <laughs> no, but I've been in a loveless marriage. When I saw you for the first time, Isabel, more beautiful and gentle than your brother had said, can I help my love for you? <sighs> you use words lightly and ensnare your prey with ease. I am not such a stranger to gossip as you may imagine. Miss Perkins, Lady Rose, Mrs. Bailey. It is true that I did have dalliances, but they were all short-lived. And before my marriage, I was faithful to the late Duchess. <laughs> but I love you, Isabel. And ask me to marry you. 
I cannot do that. <laughs> it would be improper. People would make up stories about us. I must go. They will wonder where I am. Wait a year. <laughs> and in a year, when your love has grown cold and I have spurned my suitors for your sake, what then? Where shall I be then? <laughs> <sighs> My love will not grow cold. Love does not grow cold, does it? But then, you do not love me. <laughs> I am terribly sorry to hear of the death of the Duchess Rowland. Did you know her well? <laughs> no, I only met her recently, but my brother is quite close with the Duke Roland. I was comforting him on the loss of his wife. He is relatively broken out. His wife was my mother's eldest friend. I, I cannot say that I am surprised at the Duke Roland's broken heart, although I have heard tell that he uh, bestowed uh, other types of affection on other ladies. Uh, he was uh, quite the flirt. But all gentlemen are flirtatious, Lord Kent. <coughs> there is no harm in that. It seems my sister was quite wrong about the Lady Isabel. She's very innocent of the world and ready to believe the best in everyone. <coughs> uh, you are quite right. Although a gentleman should be very serious of his uh, affections. Oh, certainly. <laughs> I believe that a gentleman should never lead a lady on, nor a lady gentleman. There must be honesty and truth in every relationship. Lady, may I call you Isabel? Uh, Sir! I'm terribly sorry. I apologize if I've been too forward. In I will truth, withdraw my request if you so desire. In truth, Lord Kent, I would rather you call me Isabel, as I have a feeling of closeness towards you, and yet the impropriety of it frightens me. It is an intimacy I am not yet ready for with a young man. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. No. I will tell my mother of William, and she will force me to marry him. And she'd force you to marry him, wouldn't she? Your mother is willing to marry you off to whoever asks. But you don't want him, do you? You want me. <laughs> no, I don't. You bore me. Now, leave, or I'll scream. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Stay away, or I swear I'll scream. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> oh, Duke Roland! William! Oh, please call me Roland. I haven't seen you since the funeral. Has it been so long? A month passes so fast. <laughs> it should be told. I had an ulterior motive in speaking with you. I find myself in love with the Lady Isabel. My war! Yes! <laughs> I've not seen her since the funeral either. <laughs> uh, but, and she was very quiet, but I need you to assure her or me that I love her and intend to marry her. Certainly. <laughs> oh, I do worry that her love for you has grown cold. I, I will do my best to reassure her towards such a suitable man. Ah, <laughs> oh, how kind of you. Oh, not at all, not at all. It is the least I can do for my late wife's best friend, son. <laughs> you are practically my nephew. Well, I feel quite...
quite the same familial connection with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, William, William, William. I must tell you, she's been sharing a bed with a man for quite some time. <laughs> I tried to put a stop to it the instant I heard of it, but she insisted she was quite in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> How can I believe that of the Lady Isabel? <laughs> she must not be as pure and innocent as you believe her to be. <laughs> the man must be a dishonorable blackguard to take a young woman's virtue. I do not believe it was that man who took her virtue. <laughs> the preposterous! <laughs> she is all of 19. She's a confused young woman. I remember that when she was young, she calls her father's wife. Mom. You, you must be confused. <laughs> Isabel is hardly a woman of the night. Certainly. <laughs> but only because she's not been found out yet. I'm only sharing this with you because you do wish to marry her, and you are practically family. So please do keep this a secret. I wouldn't want her reputation to be sullied. Why would I tell something I don't believe a word of? Duke Rowland, why are you lying? I assure you I am not. Yeah, but I, I know her. She is a lady. She won't even let me hold her hand or call her Isabel. Maybe not you. <laughs> the, the woman is honest and pure. Duke Rowland, why do you continue to insist that your lies are true or, or maybe your information is incorrect? Perhaps. Well, I heard it from her own oh. lips when I confronted her. Now I know you are lying! And I can think of only one reason why you would lie about the Lady Isabel. You want her! And what have I do? That's why you're telling me these lies! Oh, yes, he must love me. You're afraid that when I ask for her hand in marriage, she will say, yes! If you want her, ask for her hand in marriage. Do not tell lies! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dahlia, I've come to talk. What about? <laughs> this girl, her name is... Isabel. I've been sleeping with her. She's a lady. She's not like you. She's not a whore. Oh, you found someone who'll sleep with you without being pied. Impressive. <laughs> the thing is, she might marry someone else. I won't marry her. I don't want to get trapped like that. Well, then why do you care? I'm sure you'll find someone who'll sleep with you without being pied, especially since you're a duke. I want her. Then marry her. But marriage is a foolish institution. Oh, then don't and let her go. You can't keep her in limbo. It's cruel. I can't marry her. Why not? Love dies with marriage. If you love her, then you'll let her go. <laughs> idea of me. You want to do. You want to break the biggest taboo we have, and yet you don't want to actually break the taboo. So you feel like you must love me, that you're obligated to love me, but you don't want to marry without love. Marry, marry William. And don't worry, he goes to whores as well, so if you're concerned you're getting some pure, innocent boy, you won't be. He just keeps what his cock goes a secret, because he actually gives a damn for those Gosfield Baps things. So you'll be well off with William, because he too wants the illusion of respectability without actually being respectable. I'm actually quite fond of you, Isabel. I find you charming and witty and intelligent and reckless. And if you don't marry William, I'll keep fucking you. Uh, but I won't marry you. I just 
want to make that perfectly clear. You don't love me. No. Why did you say that you loved me? You know why. Oh. I don't think I'll tell Anne about this. Why did you say that you loved me? I, I'm sorry. So, you never loved me? I, I'm sorry. Oh, 